For right now, we are joined by our next guest, Lee Camp. Lee is a comedian and the host of Redacted Tonight on RT America. Lee, thanks for joining us. Hello. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me. For those who I haven't met yet, thanks for viewing this. I'm Lee Camp, full-time raconteur, part-time provocateur, and wannabe saboteur. First of all, thank you, uh, Susie and everyone, for working so hard on this project. It's uh, honestly, it's been a lifelong dream of mine to be involved in something, anything called Project X. And now it's it's finally happened. I'll, I'll be honest, in most of my fantasies, Project X involves building some sort of superhero out of robot parts and Andre the Giant's reanimated corpse. But a new social media platform will 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 have to do for now. But you know, if you I mean if you find a way to use the part of Andre the Giant, I'm I won't complain. But much has been made in the past few, uh, past few weeks, past few years, past few months of how powerful social media platforms have gotten and how they are capable of creating movements and crushing them. And therefore, the people running and owning these platforms are incredibly powerful. We all know that. If you say anything that doesn't fit inside the allowable corporate endorsed talking points, as Jimmy was just talking about, then you are going to be suppressed and silenced. Because I am anti-war, because I am pro-peace, because I am anti-corporate and anti-exploitation, because I stand for equality and justice and environmental protection, that makes me a target for suppression. I have, I have watched my pages, I've watched my pages and channels have gone from vibrant, popular spaces to a comparable ghost town, receiving one-tenth of the viewers and readers I used to have. My YouTube page is almost never recommended to new viewers because why would corporate America recommend something that criticizes corporate America? My Facebook went from gaining 5,000 followers a week to never gaining any. Literally, my Facebook was at 335,000 followers in 2016. And since that time, it has only gone down because some sort of shadow ban was instituted against me at that time. Readers tell me that when they, that, that they follow my page and then they'll check back a few weeks later and they've been unfollowed without their knowledge. Now, since all of the main platforms, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Google, et cetera, are essentially owned by corporate America, that means at the end of the day, they are meant to benefit and serve corporate America. And it doesn't take much thought to realize that corporate America stands for profit over people, exploitation over exploration, dollars over development of the possibilities of humanity, wars for wealth over the welfare of average people. Those are their goals at the end of the day. They always will be. And therefore, the social media platforms owned by corporate America will always further those aims. And that's why I, I want to speak about one of the aspects of Panquake that I think sounds great and probably is not the most highlighted feature. Uh, all the censorship and everything has been he heavily discussed as it should be. I think that's probably the most important thing. Uh, but I want to talk about one of, the, one of the other features. No advertising. No advertising. Are you fucking kidding me? That's incredible. People don't seem to realize, re realize and really understand how dangerous, how insidious and pernicious advertising is. The estimates are that the average person takes in between 1,000 and 3,000 ads and brand names per day. Per day, per day, just like it's hosing you down, just corporate mouthpieces spraying you in the face. And each one of those one to 3,000, each one of those is designed to influence you and manipulate you. We all think that we're like just smart enough to avoid being manipulated by ads and commercials. But, and here's the thing, we're not. We're not smart enough. We're fucking animals at heart, okay? No matter how bright you think you are, no matter how opinionated and self-confident you are, those things still impact you. If they didn't, then companies wouldn't spend billions of dollars on them. It's that simple. That proves they work. And if they didn't spend those, if, 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 the, if those commercials and ads and brand names and everything else didn't work, then, you know, why do I have uh, five Snuggies and a crate full of penis pills? Because they work, the ads. 
not the pills. And almost all commercials and ads are selling one thing, really, when you shrink it all down, you boil it all down, they're selling one thing, need. They sell you need and want. They use every emotional tactic in the book, jealousy, insecurity, fear, desire, loss. They use it all. But at the end of the day, they're all creating a void in your psyche that they hope you'll try to fill with their product. And in that way, they are endlessly and tirelessly pushing consumerism, pushing materialism, pushing a way of life that is completely unsustainable and impossible in the long term. They are selling us our own death spiral. And any platform or application or outlet that is funded by advertising will eventually bend towards the wants and needs of large corporations. It may not happen immediately, but those massive, powerful corporations, through their ad dollars, exert a sometimes obvious, but sometimes subtle pull, a gravity that never lets go, a gravity that is always there, that pulls everything towards consumerism, towards capitalism, towards corporatocracy. If we so choose, we can each run against the gravity for a time. You can fight it for a time, but it's exhausting. It slowly tires you out and sucks out your life force like a parasite. Eventually, even those running against the tide will give in or give up and corporate needs will win out. The advertisers get their way, unfettered capitalism triumphs. So that's why I think the no advertising policy of Panquake is so important and so revolutionary. I can't speak to everything that makes this idea great. I mean, hell, I've, I've only been, I was only told about it a few months ago, but I know how dangerous and all consuming corporate interests can be. And as long as you're on an advertiser funded platform, you will never be getting the full truth. There are also a hundred other reasons this, uh, this new project is important and desperately needed. And I, I, as everyone has been doing and as they will continue to do throughout uh, this, this presentation, they will be telling you about those. Uh, but I thought I would focus on one of the features that is probably a little less talked about because uh, the, the, the dealing with censorship and suppression is at the top of the list, but uh, not being funded by corporate America and corporations around the world uh, that are incredibly powerful. I mean, they basically own our government at this point. That is a huge factor in this and incredibly important. And that's why it sounds exciting to me. All right, thanks a lot and keep fighting.